What's going on there folks? Good afternoon once again the Earthmaster here on the live stream with a quick update on an earthquake out here around the Iran area. Seen a 6.1 just come in a short time ago. There's the uh, P wave signature showing up on the Japan station. So a rather strong earthquake striking out here in this area of the world that uh, well we've been watching for quite a while. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the latest USGS map here showing the activity around the Iran region. This is right in the area uh, where we've seen a swarm of fives and fours over the last couple weeks. Uh, 6.1 showing up here at 10 kilometers. Very shallow earthquake. Uh, let's see if any uh, folks have reviewed it. Looks like it has been reviewed by a seismologist. It is in a major hazard zone of some significant earthquakes in the past historically and some of these can be rather big up in the seven range as well so looking back over the last week uh, we can go back the last 30 days of we'll do 4.5 and above you can see that this has kind of been building up to that area it's just within uh, about 30 miles of that swarming location that we've been uh, kind of keeping an eye on here off the coast of iran uh, again prior to this we had uh, quite a few fours and fives in the mix here I think the largest was a uh, 5.6 it looks like now a 6.1 so uh, swarms do tend to lead to uh, much bigger earthquakes in the area uh, wouldn't doubt it though this type of strain 6.1 could turn into something much bigger regionally uh, looking at historical data they do get some larger quakes in this area than the 6.1 so just just a heads up um, for that area Let's go back to the 2.5 and above. Looking at the map over the last 24 hours, looks like we're <clears throat> kind of at a pause, a little standstill. Uh, we did see low activity along the west coast. Not a whole lot here through uh, the Philippine plate. I think the most recent quake prior, about an hour or so prior to the six pointer, is a five pointer up here in China. It kind of confirms a westward pressure movement that I've always been talking about here. Get the gen general flow, at least in this area, westward. Uh, and up here, you got a lot of squeezing in coming in from the south. So, uh, westward with that uh, Japan or the uh, China quake 5.0 an hour before. And then, bada boom, bada bang, get a 6.1 in the area. Looks like it is showing up in the orange category. Uh, yellow for the pager. Possible, unfortunately, uh, some, it looks like maybe a chance of fatalities. Hopefully not. But it is in an area that, uh, Let's see what we got here for population density. I'm uncertain exactly population density out here. Uh, let's see what we got. We can check out aerial real quick. Not for sure what's out there besides a whole lot of desert. I'm sure there's some, uh, looks like maybe an airstrip or something out here. Some type of, uh, I'm not for sure what that is. Looks like, uh, wow. Some type of rice fields maybe? I don't know. Kind of crazy to see out there in the desert but as uh, far as general communities go nothing right here at the epicenter it looks like which is good news uh, for that type of earthquake out here very shallow and actually pretty strong so all right guys uh, we'll be back a little bit later tonight once again just wanted to jump in here with a 6.1 earthquake striking within our uh, our swarming area that we've been watching just uh, right around the iran area southern iran Stay safe out there, folks. We'll see you guys back here a little bit later tonight with a complete update. And uh, that 6.1, I'm sure, is going to be sen sending a little uh, surface waves throughout the rest of these seismographs. So watch for that. But uh, a lot of times that P wave uh, can be picked up on uh, stations far away. If it's strong enough, I wouldn't doubt it if it does get upgraded. Here's that P wave picking up here on the station in Japan. All right, we'll chat, uh, we'll chat at you guys a little bit later on. Stay safe out there, everyone. Peace out.